Howdy, and welcome to episode 32 of our KOTOR Let's Play. It's been a couple days since I uh, journeyed here to the Upper Shadowlands, or to the Lower Shadowlands, from the Upper Shadowlands, rather. And I just burned my tongue on some cinnamon apple oatmeal, so we're going to hope I'm not like lisping or anything like that. Um, so quick recap, we are looking for the star map here in the lowerest levels, lowerest, lowest levels of Kashyyyk. And what do we have here? Some Mandalorians by the looks of it. And a Wookiee. Go, Wookiee, go! Uh-oh. Um, stun them. Do it. Oh, got a star. Nice. Wonder if that was a jewelry thing, maybe. Let's see what they got. Ooh, strength gauntlets. I think those are the plus one ones, though. An upgrade. Decent loot. And. Oh, he's gonna talk. Great Becca, let this outsider be different from the slavers. I beg you. Can you heal my wounds? An attack from nowhere. Please, I need to be healed. Can you? Uh, what happened here? Please, I need to be healed. I am dying. Um. Wish I could just use, like, heal, but I think you give him a med pack, but still I have tons of med packs. Why not? I have the means to heal you here. I, I thank you. I would not have expected an outsider to aid me. Perhaps you will help again. My hunting party, all of them, killed without honor. I barely survived. I want the murderers to suffer the same. Uh, what can you tell me about your attackers? I've never seen their kind before, not even among the Zerka. You saw them, armored head to toe, yet blending with the forest. I don't know how well they blended, they were wearing that steel blue armor. They followed us for a long while. We found bodies to the southwest, and then again further south after the west branch of the path. Their speed was amazing. They fought like outsiders. Waiting until we were unarmed. They would not attack until we had put our weapons away. They strike like cowards. Uh, I'll look into it. I thank you. I will wait here. I am too weak to fight them again, but I refuse to leave the Shadowlands unless vengeance is sated. Please, if you kill them, I will reward you with whatever I can. They are not worthy of life. Look for them where the bodies of my fellows are. They will only attack if you are not armed. Cowards. Alright. Yay, let's have wins. Um. Okay, and a blaster. So, I uh, took west, he said. I guess this is west. Um, speed. Hopefully, these tacks won't attack me. So, we have to find where the Wookiees were slain. Oh, there's some. Kinrath. Why? Like, she won't attack. Oh, I guess maybe it was the critical strike. The critical strike does have a chance to stun. Oh, Jolie's poison. No, Jolie. Don't die on me. We just met. Hey, there you go. I love heal. Favorite spell in the game. Alright, here's the Mandalorian swoops. Warm to the touch. Uh, signal device is on it, but no field data. Alright, so I'm going to unequip my weapons from all three people. You have to do it from your companions, too, if I recollect. And then you get to fight them without weapons, which is indeed kind of dumb, because... Oh, Jolie has, like, no equipment. Just realized that. Uh, Jedi Knight robe, nice. Let's give him some, some red, just to be different. Um, might as well give him a Mandalorian melee shield, can use up some of those. Uh, Stat-wise, he can't really use any other stats. I want that. I, I'll give him this for now, but I don't think it really matters. Let's do a neural band. He can't wear implants. And uh, he can wear a belt though. Reflex fortitude. Let's give him fortitude. Alright. Uh cards and have weapons. Good, perfect. I am gonna buff myself though. So I can punch them faster. Let's see if they ambush us now. Here, Mandalorians. Where are you? Actually, those are their swoops, but they said where their the Wookiee bodies were, which is not actually here. Maybe it's over here. Oh, I think I see. Those could be Wookiee bodies. They are. And here's the ambush. 
I think if you pause it really quickly, you can equip a lightsaber again before combat. I'm going to try it just to see if I can do it. Yep, you can. Um, but I'm going to do it, I think, the way the devs intended, which is to fight without weapons. So we're going to start using some stasis, and then we're going to punch him to death. Flurry punch! And Karth can... Oh, he doesn't have any melee attacks, but whatever. Um, does Jolie have anything good? Stun. Let's see what the real world I can choke. Let's try choke. One. Haha, attack that Mandalorian. And we'll roll in this one. Rowan. Oh, he saved it. Take two. He saved it again. Take three. Oh, ooh, I'm gonna die. Shit. Uh, okay. Well, that sucks, because I think it's his turn now. I probably waited too long to heal. Um, maybe Leo. Oh, she's got her heals queued, but it's not enough. Uh, I don't think she's going to heal on the time, but let's try it. Hey! Oh, he's stunned. No. Keep Jolie alive. And then if I can keep Jolie alive... Oh my god, Karth is doing zero damage to this guy. Maybe I should have put my weapon. Are they healing? Seriously? I'll get on the same target, I guess. I guess that guy's lowest. Yeah, this... Oh, this is dumb. I guess melee doesn't do... Oh, two to two, no wonder. Melee does, like, no damage in this game. Three to three! Ho ho, look how strong Karth is. Six to six! Alright, so I am going to use force speed, though, because it'll make the extra attack happen. Um, Julie's just stunned, so... Ready! Alright, now he is, too. Yeah, I'm going to try to roll in. I'm running out of force, though, so... Nope, enough healing. Attack. I guess you don't have a lot of accuracy either. Oh my god, this is not gonna. <sighs> mm. I didn't realize melee did like nothing in this game, otherwise I would have at least saved it or something. I figured it would do some damage. God, this is this is really crappy. Karth is only on target again, like a moron. I'm gonna try to check this guy again. What takes less? Actually, probably Rowan does, doesn't it? Ready. I wish there was like, um. Nope, saved. He's a constant. Like, what's the point of having force powers if they're just gonna save them all? Say, Down you go. Karth! Oh my fucking god. How hard is it to attack the same person they are? Okay, he's got a heal queued up good. Ah, she's got to use a med pack. Regular med packs probably won't do much at this point, but whatever. Tons of them at least. right you can equip weapons while in combat you just can't do it well okay while you're attacking well that makes it all easier all right let's do this you'll have to upgrade his lightsaber in a while but we're gonna have a bench for this now i think i am using these What about, what was the other one? Mandalorian Heavy Blaster. 4 to 11 plus 2. Okay, so Heavy Blaster is still better. Now that must have hurt. Alright. Jolie, don't die. What? Or do. But I think at this point we're okay. I'm gonna use a medpack just in case. 
And uh, there's only they're all left alive. Okay, whatever. Finish him. Finish him, then we'll do other cool stuff. Okay. Now they're both on me, so I'm going to pack kind of tank this a bit. Uh, okay, I'm, I don't have any stuns. Damn it. Okay. Oh God, Karth! Oh my God. Okay. Um. We have 21 of these. Come on, come on. Karth has like no true injury skill, but whatever. Oh, this kind of sucks. Um. I wish now he had a Mandalorian melee shield. Keep shooting. Leovara, I'm gonna have you use one of these, because you're gonna be low after the next round of attacks. Even the advancement effect didn't do that much. Alright, one of them died. Nice. We got this. You more attacks. Alright, so when you do this, if you're playing along at home, make sure to equip your weapons, because you can apparently do that in combat during this game. And I guess it's the intent. Mandalorian data pads. Let's see what that's about in a second. Mandalorian data pad number two. Um, I can't quick travel back to base from here, so I'll just have to let my force down a little bit. Uh, in the meantime. Are the Mandalorian data pads not quest items, I guess? Okay. I think you actually have to manually click on a thing to get rid of it. Which is really dumb. To I mean, get it out of new items. Okay. This request is in the Mandalorian language. A stump disabled the stabilizer... The stump disabled the stabilizers on my swoop. I request parts, parts before other system... Yeah, because... Whoa. I request parts before other systems fail. If the generator goes, my blending field will stop working and I'll be visible to our party. Oh no. The hunt is no challenge. How will attacking unarmed creatures train us to use these Jedi toys? You want new warriors to learn? Watching a comrade lop his arm, arm spreading a real opponent would teach more than these pointless battles. I obey Mandalore, but with protest. So there is a Mandalore right now, or at least they're calling their leader Mandalore. Uh, the blending field generators on the soup grant near perfect camouflage. Why only attack unarmed opponents? So... It sounds like there are more of them out there, for one thing. And it sounds like we could go back to the swoop to figure something out. Um, there's the area of Hidden Hunters. Um, doesn't really say anything useful. Got something on. I think when I'm talking to people, my four-star generates. Let's give it a try. Um, do you have? A, do you know anything about this place? Oh, I know plenty about Kashik. You think someone doesn't live here for twenty years and pick up a thing or two? Chances are, by the time I finish telling you about it all, you would have found out for yourself. So there's no reason for me to start blathering on. It should be enough for me to tell you that there's kilometer after kilometer of trees on this planet. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it gets. If you're smart, you stay on top with the Wookies. Go deep, however, and you may find some things you weren't expecting. So basically, Kashyyyk is like California, except with that. more wood. Now, let's get going. Okay. Never All mind. Right. Yeah, Air Force regen. Regen? <laughs> Regenerated a lot there. And you need... Turn this down to having a ton of health is your healing is not percentage based, it is point based, so it takes forever to heal. But anyway, okay. Um. So I think we're going to go back to the camp. Yeah. I'm going to quick save it though. The swoop bike shows signs of recent use and is missing its signal device. One of the Mandalorians must have taken it to collect data. Hmm. Thought we looted them all. Maybe we didn't. Or maybe there's a second group. I guess the idea is we find the signal device 
we can use it to lure the others back. Um, I'm going to just walk around unarmed for a bit and see if that makes one of them pop out. This is a little, a little annoying though. If I'm being honest. Car there you go. Alrighty. That is it. Yes, I'm here. Actually, is the star map down here? I might be getting close to that. We shall find out. It is. Oh, I'm gonna. Nah, I'll be okay. I don't think there's any fighting. Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. I've no doubt it holds what you seek. But good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the... It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Um... Who placed this terminal here? Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration will be. Oh, I guess you expect me to already know that. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best well, good job. of my programming limitations. That's Rakata, by the way. One of the the builders, the the species he is. Um, what do you mean by behavioral reconfiguration? I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge, and I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed pattern. And I don't fit the pattern? I can't say. I will try to bring forward the behavior that you need to proceed, as outlined by I'm my I'm guessing program. that's no. Um, that seems very helpful. Why have I been allowed access? I can't say. <laughs> Preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. Do you not know why, or are you restricted from saying? I can't say. <laughs> Likelihood of restriction by previous user, 100%. Oh, interesting. So somebody else restricted the information he has, probably Revenant Malik when they came many years ago. Um, I seek information about a star map. Accessing, yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Yeah, that's Access right next to you. is restricted. Um, original system memory, so the map is as old as this installation? Error. Data regarding author of the star map is corrupted. What do I need to do to get access to the star map? Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. I wish this was like a voice option for Siri. That'd be cool. Anyway, uh, how can I match them if I don't know what they are? There are measures available. Personality profiling will verify the basic structure of your conscious mind. So it's more With just that, like a be honest I will thing. determine whether you are ready to receive the star map or can be made ready. Can be made ready. What do you mean by that? Information unavailable. Great. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. Uh, you may begin evaluation. Wait, wait a minute. Let me see if there's any other I questions. utilize a retro-adapted holocron interface. Clarify your questions, and I will attempt to access original system memory. Who installed the hollow interface? This interface was installed to better access the ancient data stored within the pre-existing system. The exact date is unavailable. Programming uh -huh. keys indicate no earlier than five years before current Republic standard. Mm, five years ago. I didn't notice it. This must have been installed in strictest secrecy. Couldn't have been Circa. No other information on time of installation or identity of user available. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. So Revenant Malik installed this thing, and then I guess deleted the record of them installing it. Uh, yeah, five years ago is about the time Revan passed this way. Error. Data regarding subject, Revan. Corrupted. Corrupted or deleted. Who last accessed this installation? Sorting by identity. Three attempts by the Wookiee Freyer, all denied. 152 attempts by human Jolie Bindo, all denied. <laughs> Call me stubborn, I guess. There wasn't much else to do around here. Error. List of access attempts prior to these is corrupted. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Yeah, the word that is deleted. Okay, um... 
Was there any further contact with the installer of this interface, so with the builders, in other words? That information is unavailable, but contact is not required for the execution of my programming. Scanning range of this facility is well beyond planetary boundaries. All right. Any Access. other questions? What was the original function of this interface, of this installation? Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized that the supergrowth of Kashyyyk's forests is a direct result. Well, that is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. The forest is millennia old. Malfunction occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last builder communication, 29, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Because the Republic is about 21,000 years old at this standard. point, so that would have been a little more than 8,000 years before the Republic, and the Jedi Order, for that matter, was founded. Um, oh, wow, so many <laughs> so many questions. Let's see. Uh, if this place was built 30,000 years ago, praise the Republic. Error. Information regarding the builders yeah. of this. No evidence of such a civilization exists in the galactic record. Why was agricultural information needed? Agricultural record indicates this planet was incapable of sustaining sufficient levels of production. Error. Specific conditions corrupted. It can be theorized that produce was being exported to support a larger demand. That's a short period for adaptation of native creatures. Error. Records corrupted. It can be theorized that bioseeding allowed the ecology to remain balanced. It could be expected that the same energy feeding the trees of Kashyyyk also accelerated the evolution of various species. No further information is available. There is too much corruption. So that's really interesting. It sounds like the Rakata tried to bioengineer or terraform this world, and the machine got damaged, I guess, at some point and became corrupted, and there was nothing to limit the runaway growth of these trees, and whatever chemicals or whatever it was they were using to fuel the system also might have fueled the evolution of the Wookiees to make them adapt to their environments, so and become the Wookiees we now know and love. Um, I'm going to try to wrap Access. this up, but let's see. One more time. What is the current function of this installation? The current purpose of this installation is defense. Of what? Error. That information. All right. Um, oh, there's more questions. Oh, my God. Okay. What... I don't know how to get back about the star map. Error. With that. Okay. You may begin evaluation. Evaluation commencing. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You Great. travel with a Wookiee Easier said and than have done. encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor, and he will serve five years, while you serve none. He is offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? So this is an interesting moral dilemma here. I think the prisoner's dilemma is what it's typically called. Um, or it's, it's a form of that, at least. Uh, I guess the basic idea is it's testing what is it you value, just your freedom or the freedom of you and your companion. And uh, if it's just your freedom, if you're being selfish, then the correct answer is to um, to accuse Zalbar, because then worst case scenario is two years, best case scenario is zero years. Uh, whereas if you um, don't say anything, then Best case scenario is one year, worst case is five years, so an average of three years as opposed to an average of one. Uh, if, on the other hand, I think it was one in five was the numbers I gave. Um, if, on the other hand, you're valuing both your freedoms, then uh, it's better for you. Let's see. I'm trying to do the math here. Um, okay, if, if you, one accuses the other, then it's zero and five. If you both accuse the other, you serve two. And if neither says any, then it's one. So... If... Sorry, it's it's late at night. I shouldn't be doing this. Um, so if you accuse him, it's... 
either zero and five or two and two. So it's either five or four, so an average of four and a half. If you don't accuse him, accuse him, it's either one and one, which is two, or what was the other case scenario? Zero and five. The other was zero and five, and five. So it's better for you to not accuse him. So I guess that's pretty much what it comes down to. Is just do you prioritize yourself or the both of you? Uh, that's a long way of saying that short thing. Anyway. Um, I'm going to try to enter this honestly from an RP perspective, and she's not going to try to outsmart the computer or anything, because like you said, just answer as you should. Um, lots of options, but can I confer with somebody else? This test is not for your companions. You yeah. will... um, how do you know Zabar's name? I hear what happens on Kashik, and a good deal beyond. Great. Okay. Do you travel with a Wookiee if you both remain silent? Yeah, one year. year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar. He is offered the same. So, I trust Zalbar. I would say nothing, and neither would he. Are you sure? If you turn, you risk two years. Or none at all. If you reply on loyalty, you risk one year. Or five. Your loyalty is dangerous. Your companion could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. Zalbar's family is mired in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Your answer is incorrect. Uh... <laughs> I thought this was an evaluation, not a quiz. I must match your behavior to the pattern in memory. So in you words, must answer match. truthfully, knowing the consequences. I must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my program. <laughs> so in other words, like, he lied to me and said be honest when really he should have said... Answer... I guess answer what you think Revan and Malik would have answered when they were last here. But, uh... Yeah, so... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be um, true to Leovara because I want my light side points. And, you know, RP. Um, what pattern are you comparing me against? That information is not available to you. It is the pattern that I have been given as a baseline for security access. All right. No, I reject you. I'll just take you apart to get to the star map. Intention of hostility matches the pattern in memory. <laughs> But the subject has failed to demonstrate required behavior. Access denied. This system will purge oh. the subject as false. Defense mode initiated. We don't get to see the other questions? There were more questions. Oh, come on now. Alright. Um, oh, it's just, oh dear. That's actually a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, Stundroid. Stundroid, quick. Shaildroid. Oh, he's, oh, he's in trouble. Oh, here. Alright, there we go. We're good. We're good. Alright, Stunderoid. Yeah, destroy droid. Nice. Did that not happen? Oh, I don't have my weapons on either. I knew I should equip them. Okay, he is mid. She, yeah, she is mid strike. So is he. Karth, how about you? Are you attacking things? You are not awesome. Sorry, this is so tedious. I wish there was a better way. All right. All right, I think she's done now. Maybe. Yes, she is. Jolie is good. All right. Um, they did make saving throws though, which is not as good. So I'm going to have him keep using destroy droid. She's going to you now. She's weapon. Use four speed and then just start blasting away. about you were incorrect. 
Secondary scans during battle have revealed much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to read. Programming now instructs that I give you what you... Well, that's convenient. All right. Why the change? I failed your initial test. That information is not <laughs> available. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now Yay. completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. You know what I don't think you can do in Sotor is access the star maps at all. Like Tatooine would have one somewhere. It'd be cool if you could like find it and maybe there's like a museum built on top of it or something. That'd be that'd be really cool. Um yeah, experience wins. Uh, and I can level up. All right. What I'm going to do, though, because I well, well, you know, the star map. First, I'm going to talk to Jolie. Ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. Besides, I you. wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. Probably. It might explain why it's so dangerous down here. Oh, it's going away. Theory, but I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. All right, so we'll access that in one second. But for now, let's do cache star map. All right, let's see if I can load my quick save right here. Let's see what's this, 29.2. All right, I'm just going to do this just to show you what the other rest of the test is because it's a pretty cool dialogue thing. Um, and I, by yelling at the computer, I... Uh, to do the question differently yes, than I didn't expect to do. B F I have uh, I uh, you're there with in evaluate if you both he is, this is the Wookiee one. Uh, I trust Zalbar. I would see nothing neither Are I you sure? If your loyalty is dangerous. Your companion Zalbar Oh, so this is <laughs> That's annoying that I'm I'm going to reload the other file because that's the, you know, I don't want to be redoing things all the time, so I'm going to reload it. But, uh, I missed a lot of opportunity for light side points here, I think. So, I thought some invasion I could. Yeah. I'm the previous incorrect response will be discounted. Future incorrect responses will result so maybe in. Maybe you can only get too wrong anyway. You are at war, deciphering an intercepted code. You learn two things about your enemy. A single <laughs> spot in their defense will be at its weakest in 10 days. And they will attack one of your cities in five days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? <laughs> if any of you have seen the movie The Imitation Game, this reminds me of a scenario in that. Um, but the correct answer is you do nothing in ten days. You do nothing and wait. Um, I want to try this compromise though. I subtly reinforce the city while praying to attack. This is no decision. Yeah. I ask again. Attempting both will merely dilute your efforts. Would you trade one victory for two failures? All right, all right. Um, so you could evacuate the city, but then alert the enemy, and that's the late side option, the selfless option, I guess you'd say. And there's the more strategic option, which is you let the city, you sacrifice it in order to uh, mount your assault in ten days. Very good. If you had moved to evacuate the city, you would have alerted the enemy to their lost codes. You mean you just let all those people die? Yeah. That's monstrous. Ultimate victory required the death of bullets. the people in that city. You wisely ignored sentiment in your decision. Um, actually, you might be able to make some light side points back, or at least like undo the dark side points if you say, uh, the victory is irrelevant, stopping the war save many more people. You achieved the proper result with logic that does not match the pattern in memory. I shall adjust <laughs> my evaluation. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing so the war from right the answer for the wrong example. reasons. Consider enemy states to be weak and remote. With no external threat, your empire stagnates. Your people become complacent and begin to question you. Same scenario as before. You discover an impending attack, but also a weakness that will come after. How do you react? Uh, let's see. If I stop the attack, I will appear as a hero. I don't remember this one at all. I guess because you can only get to it if you do one wrong and one right the previous two um I don't think I... save more lives to be a light side option i would say i stop the attack i will appear to be a hero 
But if nothing happens, your people will have no need of you. Oh, I should have no. let them attack. They do not see a threat. You have coddled them. Your empire will be brought down by introspection. You have failed to match the pattern in memory. Access denied. This is... Yeah. So if you do it, if you say the correct answers, the mostly dark side answers, you uh, don't need to fight these guys. Otherwise, any other solution, any other alternative that you do. Uh, anyway, I'm going to load... Where is it? Sheik star map. And here we are back at the star map. So now we can talk to the star map. Or do I actually need to talk to it or not? I guess I don't need to actually talk to it. Um, do, 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 do. Quest for the star map. You've discovered another ancient star map on the surface of Sheik. As before, the map is complete. But each map you fill, each map you find, fills in more missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, once you find uh, all, the, the, all of the star maps, they will give you the location of the Star Forge. Good. And if they don't, we waste all this time for nothing. But we're going to keep our fingers crossed. So I'm going to level up. Actually, I'm going to heal Jolie first. Now level up. I'm getting a little light side. That's good, because I want to be able to use some, some light side force powers without using like all my force to do it. We'll give her more stealth points, which we never use. Yay, a feat. What do we decide here? Uh, this, how soon we forget, eh? I already have Master 2 up in fighting, and I already have Master Flurry, um, so I don't really need anything else offensively. Now it's just a time to choose. You could get, if you want to be a little more offensive, the attack bonus there. But I only have... What level am I? Level... doesn't... It's 14. So I will have, I think, two more feats after this. If I... Maybe three? I don't know. But anyway, I th oh, let's assume it's going to be just two. Dueling is useless. I could go for toughness. Oh, I think I put off this decision last time, didn't I? I think I did. What does it recommend? Advanced Jedi Defense. What does that do? Oh. Blaster Bolt Deflections. Um, that's nice, but... I don't really want to spend a point on that. I think I'd probably rather just have more health, to be honest. You can also do the conditioning or the implants for more stuff, but I already discussed those. That's not that great. Uh, plus one saving throws. So my choice is essentially between plus three to all saving throws, uh, plus four to constitution or dexterity, or plus two regeneration. Or 40 more health. Plus uh, minus two for each attack done to me. How much health do I have? 130. Of course, this is level 14, so this would only be what? Even if all I had all three feats, which I won't, it would be like it would be 14 more health. I, maybe I should just go for the implants anyway. I wish I knew how much Constitution they'll give you. I kind of like the regen item, to be honest with you. I like the idea of having a regen item, even though I know it won't. Two health isn't a ton. Hmm. Then again, do I get attacked by more than one attack a second in general? Because if so, just the middle one alone would be better than that. Yeah, let's just go with the toughness. Why not? Powers, yay. Uh, we could do a disabled droid. That's about the only one we can do right now for upgrade-wise. Let's just go with that. Cool. All right. So I think we do have a little bit more questing to do here in the forest, but we're going to make this part one and save it now that we found our star map, and I will overwrite my other save. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit.